guys, welcome back to my channel. Guess who's being featured in this episode of Will It Fit? Um, so Will It Fit is a series where I go to straight size retailers or I shop straight size retailers or you know traditionally straight size retailers and I let you know if any of their biggest sizes will fit. Also sometimes they have Sneak Plus which is something I made up I think. And it's just when they sneakily have plus sizes, but you either have to like search for them. I just open the blind and there's freaking dust everywhere. You have to search for them like a mad woman or they're only available online. So I will let you know what I found. I went into three different Hollisters. I didn't actually purchase any of the stuff at an actual physical Hollister, but I went in to see what the biggest sizes were. And then I went online hoping to find better. So for the most part, I only saw larges in store. Hellas are so dimly lit and the smell, like the, the smell is just so strong in there. Um, it's not my favorite, but they do always have really good deals and stuff on their jeans. I sign up for their emails. Unfortunately, I don't know that their jeans are gonna fit, but by the end of this video, <laughs> we'll know. And spoiler alert, I don't think they're going to. But um, anyway, I ended up purchasing this stuff online. There was uh, some deals and stuff online. So I went online to buy stuff and I found that you can get a double XL and a lot of stuff on the interwebs. Um, not all of it, it doesn't all come in double XL, it doesn't even all go to extra large, but some of it does, so I'll show you what I found. And if you're a fan of the Will It Fit videos and you wanna see more of these more often, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Um, I think the next one that I'm gonna do is Zara, and then from there, don't know, I did a Twitter poll recently to see kind of what people wanna see, and I forgot what the answer was, so follow me on Twitter. <laughs> and Instagram, I do them on Instagram too. So my total for all of this stuff was $453.25. So Hollister sure ain't exactly cheap, um, but I guess if you have a coupon or something, which like I said, they have a lot of coupons. So if you end up deciding that you wanna shop at Hollister, then definitely sign up for the emails. So obviously I have one of their sweaters on, which I'll show you in a second. I wanna try to put on the pants, but the Biggest size that I can find online is a size 32. And a size 32 is basically a size 15. Um, and 15 is junior sizes, and I wear a 16 in women's sizes. And even though those sound like they're right by each other, they're really not. I'm more of like a 19, maybe even a freaking 21, probably a 19 in junior sizes. And this is a 15, this is as big as I could get them. Um, these are $55. And I got these in a 15 short, just because I wanted, I don't know why. Look at them, they're so little. Um, but on top of that, they're also like, these are their, check this out. I, I don't have to put these on to tell you that they're tripping, right? These are their high rise jeggings. There's barely any room between the crotch and the top. Like, even if these are a smaller size. Now to their credit, they do seem to be incredibly stretchy. Very stretchy. So. Will her giant leg get in here? <laughs> Me thinks not, but you never know. Okay, so far, it's feeling like I have uh, tights on. They're very comfortable though. Like if you can fit into these, I mean, give it a go. Okay, here comes Johnny. I don't normally have to pull up my pants little by little. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I didn't even, th I honestly didn't think we'd get this far. <sighs> Mama, look how close we are. High rise, my butt crack is high rise, okay? All right, they're not gonna close. I mean, they could if I really wanted to make this just, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, baby. This is the definition of comfort. Look, it makes it look like I have definition instead of just really jam-packed fat. Oh yeah, baby, this is only doing good things for my body right now. Only good things. <laughs> they don't fit, okay? But look at this, look at this oversized sweater that makes it look like, you can't even tell that these pants don't fit me. I can tell, because I feel like I'm being tortured from the waist down right now. But, um, these actually, okay, so considering that I got them on and closed, obviously they don't fit me. Um, but that's, that says to me that these, probably run true to size, if not a little bit on the bigger end, because if I was maybe like a 14, I could probably fit these just fine. Um, but they're so soft, I kind of wish I did fit them. And the length is perfect too, lame. Anyway, that's okay, you can't win them all. So this sweater is oversized, and what I do when I go onto websites where I'm not sure if I'll fit their clothes or not, 
I go to the little search bar and I type in oversized and I get all of the things that are a large but really are not a large. So this is a large. The text says it's a small, so I don't know what that problem is. This one's actually on sale or on clearance or something. Um, it's just oversized, obviously. Or I also type in boyfriend. So those two words will be your best friend when you're shopping at sites that you're not sure how they run. I'd like to think I'm getting a little bit better at these Will It Fit videos and actually exploring like the different options and stuff because you have to get creative sometimes. Some people forget why I created the series to begin with and it's because sometimes when you're shopping, you're at the mall, you're with your friends or your family or whoever, and there's not a great variety of plus size options, then you wanna know if you can walk into a certain store and perhaps actually find something that will fit you. Um, so Hollister is <laughs> a more difficult one, I find, um, but you can definitely still go in there and potentially pick up some oversized sweaters or something like this. Um, this outfit, the top was like 16 bucks. I got it in a large. I wouldn't wear it with this black bra underneath. Um, I'd probably actually wear it with a full cami underneath. I do really like it. It's a nice uh, quality and it's, it's almost as long as the skirt. This is how far down it goes. So um, pretty long and it's, it's a nice quality shirt for 16 bucks. It's not bad. And I knew that the jeans were not gonna fit. Like, I mean, I didn't know it, but I was pretty damn sure a 15 was not gonna fit me. And unfortunately that is the highest size that they go up to. Um, but I was like, okay, maybe I can check out a skirt or something. And like I said, some of the stuff goes up to a double XL. The skirt, I only saw maybe up to an XL and it was sold out. So I did a large, or maybe it was only up to a large. I forget. But um, it's just a black, like stretchy skirt. I bought some like this from uh, Forever 21 before. It's a little bit on the short side, but I would totally wear this with um, some tights and some like thigh high suede black boots and maybe a long line jacket. Like I would actually wear this outfit because it's cute and I can make it work and I don't think it was that expensive. JK, the skater skirt was 24 and change and the shirt was like 16 and change, but I mean, does it fit? It fits, I like it. It's actually pretty comfortable too. Here's another sweater that I picked up. I still have that skirt on. Don't think I would pair them together. Although I have been liking that whole like front tucked in like to the skirt with the oversized top look. Oh, the tag is killing me. This sweater, I got it in a large. It's oversized. It has a nice big like uh, folded over neck. It's cowl neck, I think. It has like a really nice thick knit on it. It's super soft without being itchy. Like I don't have anything underneath it. And it's a pretty decent length. I mean, it covers, it goes down to my crotch basically. This is the oversized turtleneck sweater and it was 39 bucks. So um, it fits really nicely. Like it's not tight at all on my arms or anything. And I just, I love this color. I love this color for the fall. The quality is really nice. I love the sweater. <laughs> Look, I found a pair of jeans that fits. JK, these are from Torrid. Um, they're like the premium jegging or whatever. They're the kind with the elastic on the inside. Oh, I love them. Anyway, I didn't want to do the whole video with jeans that didn't fit. So this top though, it's a thermal, but it's like kind of cropped. It is a little bit on the shorter side, but it's so loose and flowy. It's super freaking comfortable. I think I got it in a, what size? I got it in an extra large. It says it was $24.95. It is a boyfriend fit. So like I said, that's always gonna be your best friend when you're looking for clothes that you need to be a little bit oversized. You need a little bit of give. For me, I especially need it in these sleeves and this really provides that. This is cute. I like this shirt. Hi, 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 hi. <sighs> Next up, I got a jacket. This is, <laughs> the bulk of the money went to this jacket. Cheese and crackers. This jacket, I paid $126 for this jacket. It is beautiful. It's a burgundy jacket. It's really nice. I'm really hoping it fits. If it doesn't fit, I'm not gonna be surprised. But the inside is really what sold me on it. <laughs> and the inside is like this white, furry material all over it. It's not actual fur, of course. Um, or I don't know if that's like assumed. This is a collection heritage Hollister. And the normal price is 140 bucks. And I got this in an extra, extra large. That doesn't mean anything though because my arms are extra, extra, extra large. So here goes nothing guys. Let's see if it fits. Oh, fits on the left one, but Big Bertha's on the right. 
Oh, not bad. But will it fit around the actual Bertha, which is my waist? Does this? Oh, okay, this comes undone. Okay, so let's give ourselves some space. Boom, stretch it out. Oh, that did actually stretch it out too. Um, okay, what is this for? Why are there directions? Oh, those are not directions. Oh, baby! Guys, I am pretty confident in saying that this jacket fits, and you must acquit because it looks so good. It looks so good it feels good it's really soft it's really nice look at this little furry lining on top it's gray that's so pretty guys this is a pretty little jacket i'm into it okay anyway <clears throat> now that we've ruined that oh it's so nice it probably looks nice if i actually use the buttons too but i'm not gonna use the buttons that's silly even the inside of the pockets is soft oh and it's got these pockets which are the important ones because who the hell walks around like this let me just comfortably put my hands backwards. All right, and we're off. It's pretty long and it has a little tie at the bottom so I could probably loosen that up too. I mean, it's not too tight. It's not as loose as I normally have my jackets but I am not uncomfortable in it whatsoever. So, win, 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 I'm excited. This is cute, I like it. All right, so this one had a lot of different colors and like styles basically. Well, it's the same cut but it did have a lot of different options. This is so big and like oversized and stretchy. It kind of reminds me of the first one, probably because I'm standing like this again. Um, but this one, I, this one was not on clearance, I don't think. It might have been. No, it wasn't. So this I got in a large, again, oversized. Just type in oversized. It's going to be your best good buddy. Their sweaters, I got to give it to them. Their tops and their sweaters feel really, really nice. The quality is there. Like, first impression quality. It's there. Does it last? I don't know. I haven't actually worn this stuff yet, clearly. I just took it out of the box. But, oh, it's so comfy. And to go with this, I got some sweats. These I could only get in a large. They were 39 bucks, but all the reviews swore. They run so big. They're so big. I bet you guys are just so little because nothing about these says, um, Okay, the legs are pretty loose, but it's the waist that I'm usually concerned with. How high does it go, and how much does it stretch, baby boo? These do basically fit, though. Um, you know, a little ill-fitting for me personally. Not how I would like normally wear my sweats or whatever, but I could wear them. I mean, especially if I cover up this area. I've got my crotch like outlined down here. Um, you know, I would totally wear these, actually. It says Hollister down the side. They're a little on the short side. And then the leg has a bunch of writing on it. it says Southern California. Never been. All right, my friends. How about this? Outside of kind of needing some spanks for this bad boy, it looks really, really good. It's obviously just a sweater dress. Has this very cute little varsity stripes going all the way around. It's a really good length. It's about mid-thigh which is pretty good for a sweater dress. I would wear this with some tights and some boots or even um, the thigh-high socks with like a pair of flat suede boots, like, you know, thigh-high boots as well. I get my thigh-high socks from Torrid because they usually fit my giant thighs. Um, and this is just, this is so cute. I'm really feeling this dress. Like I said, I would probably wear some Spanx or something with it. But to their credit, it's really not see-through. Like I have that black bra on and it's not like popping out everywhere. The quality of this stuff is great. Like the way that it feels, this is so soft and so comfortable and so with all that stuff, the sweats, everything. So soft, so comfortable. Even the jeans, kinda wish they fit, but just as well. Um, the stuff is actually pretty nice. So <laughs> if you wanted to give it a shot, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. Look at Hollister, I did not expect this at all. Like, and you can get, you know, a dress like this in store because this is a size large, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but this is a large and it fits perfectly fine. It, it feels good, I like this thing. Um, kinda wanna wear it, but I have nowhere to go today besides downstairs to make some shrimp tacos. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up and let me know who you wanna see next. <laughs> and subscribe so you don't miss anything and I do, do the notification thing or whatever because the YouTube's like broken. I don't know what's wrong with them. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I do hope you'll come back and watch the next installment of 
will it fit? Which should be Zara, if all goes to plan. And then the rest, so anyway. Have a good day. Okay, bye. <laughs>